driving in and getting checked and everything we have literally just set up and this is our camper van for the next few nights which feels so weird i literally haven't been camping since i was honestly about five or six this feels like a blast from the past for me but i'm excited emily and brad have really kindly given us the inside me and matt are going to be in here for two nights and then emma and brad are going to be up top for two nights and then we're going to swap for the last night because brad is a tall guy and it's not very big up there so we actually hired this from escape campers and em has sort of vlogged the whole process of us ordering it and getting everything we needed so if you want to go and see more details on hiring the escape camper then definitely go and check her video the ending was absolutely fine like obviously i've never really seen anyone's vlogs for coachella apart from emily's so i didn't really know the process but we literally google maps brought us straight here and then there was a little bit of traffic when we got in we were like oh because we have big suitcases in here for us to be away for like two and a half weeks already and on the website it does say that you're not allowed to have like big cases so we're all kind of panicking a little bit about that but we were literally absolutely fine so you're all in like queues and there's security coming around we saw people open doors and they were like rummaging through bags and stuff obviously like checking for alcohol the only thing you're not allowed in here is obviously drugs and bottled alcohol so it did say online that you can bring in alcohol as long as it's in a can or a box and you're only allowed a box each which in theory in america is 24 so we made sure we were well within the limits so we had nothing to worry about but it was still a bit scary like going through the security i just didn't want to have to open my case like have trouble with my case i've got a bloody wedding dress here like who else has got a wedding dress at coachella right now <laughs> <Probably apart from. laughs> but yeah security was absolutely fine he came up to our door brad was like hey you're right and he was like yeah you guys are fine like go straight through literally didn't even open the door like couldn't care less about what we had in here so that was super super easy um you're then like passed through to there's loads of different people like telling you to go left right forwards backwards that sort of thing so we have literally just set up camp and we are literally on the back row so if you can see through here there's a white wall and there's literally nothing beyond that and she's just going up to her bed here <laughs> Find there's literally nothing, we're literally on the back row, which is perfect because the toilets are literally just over here. Um, around here, here are the boys unpacking everything. But you can see literally there's just busy bows, busy bows, cars, people, our neighbours. <laughs> Um, but if you look through here, obviously there's literally just like a little walkway. So I do think we have anything? quite a good location and also the walkway for the festival is literally just down the side there. So that being said, I think we'll be quite lucky and they literally scan you in through the little like chip loop on here. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> just give me for free. Um, yeah, super, super easy, literally. Couldn't have gone smoother if we tried. Obviously we had all of our bedding and everything from um, Death Valley and Grand Canyon, so oh, we just reused that. But yeah, we're just gonna unpack because I can see all the food coming out in front of me and enjoy each other for the first time of time. I'm excited. I said about on the way here, it's really weird because when we were back home and I was trying the outfits and stuff, obviously we knew that we were going to get married but no one else did. And I was like, oh my god, we're going to be like at Coachella as husband and wife, it's so weird. But yeah, I'm just happy to be here, feel very grateful. Um, it's nice that Emma and Brad have obviously done it before as well, so they can tell us all the tips and tricks. As far as Coachella goes, there's 
an app on your phone where you can sort of schedule every act that you want to be able to see. And we did that last night. And there is a couple apps. Are you just going to pile it up? Sort of crossover. So I think we're just going to have to figure out who we actually want to see more. Welcome to Coachella Vlog. Hi, I'm Matt Jeffries, and this is my first beer of the night. <laughs> Matt Jeffries, this is my first beer of Coachella 2023, baby. Woo! Spaghetti hoops. That was me and Matt. <laughs> we have unpacked everything. Is this a little fridge? Yeah. Wow, look, look at those. all these goodies. I know. But everyone's jealous. <laughs> I mean, I'm jealous of their bed over there because they've got a whole mattress. Look at all these belly pot noodles we've got. We've got mac and cheese, we've got teriyaki chicken stir fry mm. yum we also hired a tent as well just to put all of our luggage because obviously we've got so many cases in here but i said to em like it'd be the perfect space just to go in and get changed more drinks here this is our cool box that we got from walmart apples we've got some ice i feel like we've got a really good setup the wind is cheers cheers, cheers. Everyone around us has different music going on and it's really stressing us all out. <laughs> so it's like so 10 on. different songs all playing at the same time. We've just gone Frank Ocean. <laughs> we just had to walk around and put everyone else's set up. And I can't lie, ours is probably the most boring. It functions and it's what we need, but these are the next to us. There's disco balls, there's yeah, got true. fairy lights, he's duct taped his yeah, but you've got to to the side. <laughs> these people all live here. Like a lot of these people all live here, like not so far, yeah, so they can just take anything from their house, whereas yeah. we've literally just come with three suitcases. Matt has just made a cup of tea, and we were laughing and saying if anyone didn't know we're British, they definitely do now. <laughs> <laughs> literally you'd have seen it was ringlet like legit we were golden and locks. now it's uh not but that's okay i uh, just need to run a brush through mine this front bit is so annoying look at this how it sits like curled around curl look just on one side but makeup was actually fine we've literally just sat in the van and whacked the aircon on yeah blasting music of all the acts we're gonna see mm -hmm. today Specifically like Banner Boy. Yeah, specifically Banner Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just going to pop our outfits on. But once we've done that, I'll bring you through our outfits. I'm excited. Day one. Guys, we're ready. And I'm so unbelievably hot, it's disgusting. It's not a good time. Um, I will show you our outfits full length when we are. Probably Best actually usually in the festival because maybe we were cooler there. I'm just wishful thinking. Okay. <laughs> My set is from Hyphen and M's is from Zara. All Zara. Cargo's in a white crochet top. Let's go do this. I'm excited. Zara, Zara, Converse. Olivia Sales. Olivia Sales, Georgia's. <laughs> Georgia's Pradas. Primark, I think it's a Primark. <laughs> Cute. Go to and Matt. Oh, my God. Good ups. We have no idea. This is Brown. Prada. Converse. Converse Crew. Fuck it! 
In the wind. I didn't want to say it to you until we got in there, but I thought it's you're very annoying. Throw them a bit in three seconds. Yeah, this is getting very annoying. Very <laughs> the wind is like see ya to any extent. Where's your outfit from? Mesh key. The whole thing. Apart from my bikini is top shop and then Converse. Cool. They are the comfiest things ever. But Mesh key was a great shout for because shout outfits. Literally so good. They had so many good things. But we are on our way in. Who are we seeing first? Uh, 070 Sheik. Oh, 070 Sheik facts. Because I found myself in a shit position. And that took me down last night. And he's sorry that it's all bad. Dumb decision. Me and Brad went to Cage Renata last night and Ray was there. So Ray's gonna be there. I'm calling it now. She's Ray's gonna out. be there. If she doesn't, then I'll eat your hat. <laughs> you can fucking eat it. It's so annoying. <laughs> I think I'm most excited about Labyrinth today. Yeah. Just about because hey. he has all the old school bangers. Yeah. You're gonna know every single song. Oh, real voice. So easy. I'm excited about Labyrinth, Kid Laura, because I have a sneaky feeling Justin did maybe here. Justin did. did. He, he came here last year, so Let's it was so. 30 seconds. But I'll take 30 seconds yeah. of Justin. 30 seconds of Justin would literally make my time. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, to be fair, if she does come up for that song, I will be really happy. It is hot, it's packed. Like, it's literally late in the day, it's nearly four o'clock, and it's so warm. My boots are also not that comfortable, just for the record. That's fine, you can change. Yeah, um, but we've got time in between each act to come back. So, I think we've got like four hours here, and then we'll be back. Four hours, I think. Yeah, ice, the ice truck. <laughs> But we've had a shower this morning. It was eventful. That was a lot. I felt. I feel so clean. So clean. Like I needed that so bad. bad. You either have two choices. To say. You either or three choices. You either pay for the showers in glamping, which is right here, situated right here. Looks great. Looks great. About Ten dollars a shower. I'm really happy for all the people that are in bed here. So happy for you. Like <laughs> honestly, have a great time. Because it looks unreal. Um, or you queue for three hours. Literally on your own, like we'd be able to do it together, but like three hours for a shower. There's no excuse right now, to be fair. Or you just wash at the truck, suck it up, and wash Our at the truck. Our neighbours were fucking unreal. Like they We've got had touch. big, like water tanks in there on the front of their truck, and they were like, "You can use our water." We were like. Oh my god, thank you so much. Like, I will it's take hot. you up on that. That is normally, shower. I'm like, no, 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 don't worry about it. So, I was like, yes, thank you. I'm getting it. <laughs> it feels so good to just have a shower. I've had a nice fresh nap. And I'm just ready to see the day. Ready to listen to some music. Cheers to day two. Cheers. Love you. Love you. I completely 
completely forgot to update you guys, but <laughs> we got some mac and cheese. I've literally been inhaling it for the last couple of minutes. So we're waiting for Charlie XTX, which is also on this stage, so we get to stay in the shade and watch her. I think she'll be good. Uh -huh. High hopes. Heading back to our cute little home. It's on wheels. <laughs> uh, what is the time now? 7 p.m. Who's on 9 p.m.? Black Pink. I'm actually really excited for them. Yeah. I feel like their stage performance really, really, really good. good. They are actually headlining, which we said was weird because they aren't the last act of the evening. No. Usually it's 11 p.m. as the headliners. But they're yeah, it's strange. But we're just heading back. We're going to have a quick freshen up. We're going to have some food, some more drinks. I like change. about car camping. We can do this. We can head back, pop back, get whatever changed. Whatever we want. Do whatever we want. I'm um, gonna change out these outfits because the sun has just started to set. So I feel like last night, as soon as the sun set, it got so cold so quick. Does it weather is like weird? Like yeah. I understand how people die out there. Literally. Like I'm not even It could have been me last night, it was so cold. It's literally like 34 degrees and then it's 12. Yeah, so we're gonna change out of these little festival outfits, put on something much, much warmer, not much Ooh, cozier. Um, Charlie XX is okay, I mean, Again. Just want so many bangers, like just give me yeah. good songs. There is a tent in there to be fair that we haven't gone to yet. And every single time we walk past they are playing Alba. Like great like, songs. Yeah. So I think we're bangers. Go in there. Yeah, I agree. And we also need to some day make it to the silent disco, but at the moment we are so tired every it night. So late. I'm such an old woman. We are grandma. It's only like 3 a.m. I haven't seen that. To be fair, I say that I literally work until 3 a.m. every night, but yeah. it takes to a silent disco. I can't. Different story. I can't do it. I think we all need a bit of food. Yeah. And another beverage, you know. My mouth is very dry. The bogeys are even drier. <laughs> <laughs> but I will catch up with you when we are back on our way out. Look about to see Blackpink. Billie Eilish. Billie. And literally so the crowd 
went wild. Ran. Everyone literally like ran. Themselves to that Everyone stage. had started to leave, hadn't they? And then he was like, I'm bringing out again. Like, she just stood there, we were like, who was here? Yeah, I literally like, couldn't like, see. I feel like I'm so sure. Everyone like towers above me. And I can't see anything, but we are now waiting for Calvin Harris. I've got my jumper fixed in my bag because it's so warm. So <laughs> We're literally standing by the bed. Literally. I'm getting sprayed and it's lovely. Where is the Oh, <laughs> he's picking his nose. <laughs> We've seen everything today. There's been people laying on the floor. There was a guy who literally got his penis out in front of us. I literally walked up to him and I didn't see what it was. And I realised and I went, ew! So loud. He went, he was like, sorry. sorry. I was like, it's okay, but what are you doing? Just bent down on the ground. In the middle of like a group. So confused. So confused. Yeah, we've literally seen it all. Yeah, we really have. Uh, the toilets have been absolutely horrific today. Like, they now everyone. Just that one over there. So bad. Yeah, the ones in actual, in the actual festival. The ones near our um, camper van are actually not. Yeah, they're alright. Uh, they've actually been okay. But yeah, going to the toilet is not fun here. Again, it's not the morning, I keep saying It's actually the evening. It's 20 past four. Yeah. <laughs> We've literally had the most chill day ever. The sun was beaming hot, like so, so hot. It's been like 32 degrees. We've literally been in this van asleep. For we like needed it. Hours. Yeah. I was knackered yesterday. It's so it's tired. Refreshed. Yeah, but we're just getting ready for final day. It makes me sad. I feel happy sad. Yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm like ready to not camp, but I'm not ready yeah. to do the festival. I want to stay at the festival, but I do not want to sleep in this van ever again. It's a task. Isn't it's it? the toilets for me. Yeah. If there was a working, functioning toilet, I think I'd be fine in a shower. Yeah. We were saying about doing glamping next year. Yeah, time. definitely. If we came back, we'd definitely glamp. Yeah, 100%. The I selling think... point is the flushing toilet. Yeah. It's like. Hey. Oh, yeah. Guess who else is here? Who? Aaron Paul. Who's that? Uh, he's Jesse out of Breaking Bad. I've not no seen way. it. We're slowly figuring out that there is actually so many celebs here, but we've not seen any of them. Good, okay, all in VIP. <laughs> yeah, everyone's in VIP, and we're in uh, general admission. That's so what we want to do next year. Yeah. Glamping in VIP, so we can watch. The people watching here, I think we said last night. 
Top tier. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Just because everyone's crazy. I literally, literally love watching everyone live their best lives. Yeah. Like going crazy. We were waiting for Labyrinth last night and there was just two girls lying on the floor in front of us. I don't know how they didn't literally get stamped on their face. So eggs. drunk. It was so bad. There was a guy in front of me um, when we went for Calvin Harris and someone stood on his hand so bad. I felt so sorry for him. Someone sat on that lady's head. Oh. It's just so much going on. It's hilarious. Um, but we're just going to get ready and obviously, as always, I'll show you my outfits once we're done. My makeup is half finished, so I probably look a bit crazy at the moment. <laughs> So I'll pick you back up when we are ready for day three. Makeup is done. Emily is still working on hers. It's been five minutes. She's still home. going. Sorry. I think I'm going to slick my hair as in up because I've got that frilly dress. Oh, are they meant to be doing that? I've got people climbing fences. I don't think so. Oh my god, oh my god, they've literally left oh, She's being told off. Uh oh, uh oh. She's doing it. She's doing it. I'd she's grab her it. leg if I was that lady. Oh, I hate people like that. She's just trying to do her Oops. job. Where are they going? I don't know. That's where you get the shot out of the shop, no? Yeah. I'll show you what way. I don't really get things like that because. People have literally just climbed over that fence there and then I'm walking out. But like, one, where are they going to that will literally just get them kicked out of the fence. I know. Is he going over? Sure you not. Wow. It literally all does go on here. Rather. How is she ever gonna like find them again though? No idea. But how are they getting back in? They didn't run there though, so they she can't have really been like chasing them. Weird. Anyways, makeup is done. <laughs> Back to me. I'm <laughs> just going to put my outfit on. I think I'm going to go hair up today. And if anyone was wondering, this lip combo that I've been wearing the whole time I've been here um, was actually very heavily influenced by Emily Philpott. <laughs> and it is. Thanks, Justin. So on my wedding day, I don't know if I actually said I had to wear uh, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Anyway, didn't have something borrowed. So Emily, let me borrow her refi lip liner in rosewood and i got one myself from sephora and game changer so, so good. good i'm obsessed and then on top of it i just used the lip glow oil from dior and this is what amelia got me for christmas so this has been my little lip combo for the time that i've been here and i'm just really enjoying it it feels like a really natural lip yeah your looks look better yeah i like it a lot my lips but better. Um, who are we seeing today? Um, it's basically just Frank Ocean, isn't yeah, it? Not the only act that we really want to see is Frank Ocean. I don't even know who else is on. It's just loads of DJs, isn't it? Um, yeah, I can't remember the names. I feel like there's someone else that we like. Yeah. Let's put it in the group chat. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, but I'm really, really excited for Frank Ocean. I think he will be really, really good. Yeah, um, he is on at 10 p.m. But I mean, actually, that's in five hours so <laughs> one day we'll actually make it <laughs> yeah but i will show you my outfit once it's on it's really freaking cute ready <laughs> my dress oh my god my dress is from zara this is the one that i got the other day boots of doc martens bag of chanel where's your outfit from matt <laughs> Where is it? Boo His stylist bought it for him. Boohoo man. Yeah. Boohoo boohoo. Boo boo yeah. Converse. Converse. Prada. Prada. Boo man as well I think. Yeah, it's boohoo. Can you just show the vlog? The back of my outfit. Just like that, my friend appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Hello. Where's your outfit from, honey? This is from ASOS. So cute. A couple cute. Of years ago, I've literally worn it so many times, but it's just comfy. Mm -hmm. You wore it in Abita. I've literally worn it so many times. Color grassy netta. I miss Take me back. back. <laughs> right, the boys are literally waiting for us. Yeah, I need to take some pictures. Let's go. Oops.
sunset and we found the boys and they've got pizza. <laughs> in this so fast. How big this is. Wow. The first day pizza wasn't that great. The lemonade's here on our 10 out of 10. What did she say it was? Lemon juice and sugar. Yeah. 